All right. So this next rational zero zero theorem, I really don't see this even being as useful anymore now that technology can do as much as it does. Um, however, I'll make sure that you have uh, at least had a chance to have it explained. So uh, Savas Algebra 2, Math XL, less than 3.6. We're getting there for three. So um, the rational root theorem, you take all the factors of 14. So you've got one, two, seven, and 14, and then you have to do positive or negative on all of those because if they were multiplied by a positive or negative, and then you divide them by, if you had a coefficient of this leading term out here, but we don't. So the only factors there we have are the ones. So the all the possibilities in this case are going to be all of these right here. But it's all the factors of the constant term divided by any possible combinations of all the factors of the leading term out here. So on this problem, the correct answer should be C. And that's all there is to that. The, rational zero theorem, but sometimes it can get kind of complicated when you have other numbers in the leading spot and lots of factors. <laughs>